Good morning, good morning, and happy Sabbath, I should say. I can listen to this very interesting music for quite some time, but now we are going to pray, thanking God. We thank you, God, for waking us up. We thank you for allowing us to see the beginning of another Sabbath. We ask that you would be with us this morning as we meditate upon your words in Jesus' name, and we thanks, we pray. Amen. So we are looking at Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. In the King James Version, it says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. The, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the feet of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. And we are seeing that God is speaking to us once again and he's telling us, take hold of the hope that I offer to you. And be grateful, or oh, and be greatly encouraged. The hope of heaven is your birthright as a Christian. Many, many blessings flow out of the glorious promise into your present life and into this world. Notice, however, that take hold is an active verb, requiring effort on your part. As the Apostle Paul taught, you need to press on toward the goal and live up to what you have already attained. This requires you to exert yourself, grasping onto the heavenly hope from which so many blessings flow. One of those blessings is encouragement. Be encouraged is a passive form of the verb. You receive encouragement as a free gift from me when you make the effort to hold on to your hope, focusing on what I've already done, died for your sins, what I am doing, living in you, and what I will do, take you home to heaven. I love to give good gifts in generous proportions, so cling to hope, beloved, and you will be greatly encouraged. Today I'm saying, God is saying, in the quiet of this hour, take hold of my blessing one by one. I can't and won't ever stop giving my best to you. Indeed, indeed, God is encouraging us. God is offering us that opportunity for us to take hold. Remember, he's asking you, to be crucified with him. But being crucified with him, meaning that you would be living or he would be living with you or in you. And the life that you live in the flesh would be a reflection of God's presence in your life. Why? Because he gave his only begotten son to live in you and to live with you. So be blessed. Thank you, dear Father, for the sacrifice of your Son to die so that we can live. May we embrace this gift and allow you to live in us. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>